Hello, it's HDN. Today I want to present you an installation guide for A2 to help those who wants to play the game but has troubles with it. So, let us begin. First of all, we'll need some components to install the game and make it playable. 1. We'll need to install disk emulator like Demon Tools or Magic ISO or any other that can emulate MDF slash MDS formats. 2. App Locale or Locale Emulator to play your game, because it is made for Japan only and will run only if computer's Locale, language for non-Unicode programs, is set to Japanese. Usually you would have to change your system's Locale, that sometimes may cause issues with other programs. Not sure if it's common or not. App Locale and Locale Emulator change system's Locale only for applications that you run using them, what is quite useful and safe. Their usage and installation I will describe later. 3. Three disk images of the main game. Sometimes when you download the game, there are images named disk 2 and 3, and one with many hieroglyphs. Don't let this confuse you, it is disk 1. 4. Artificial Academy HF patch. Better download the latest version for better translations and less issues. 5. Artificial Academy DLC HF patch for proper working of DLCs. 6. DLCs Appensed 1 and 2. Now to the installation part. 1. Emulate the image of the first disk using Daemon Tools, Magic. because without it, game won't work. If it is inactive, just press the last button which will close this application. 3. Then launch Illusion plus some hieroglyphs application. 4. Choose or create installation path written with English letters, without any symbols. 5. Consequently mount disk 2 and 3 when installer asks. 6. After game installation mount disk 1 again and find editor folder on it, where you will find application similar to main game installer. Use it. 7. Install editor the same way you install the game, better somewhere near. Eight. Launch Artificial Academy DLC HF patch. Usually, it automatically finds path to your game and editor. But if the folders are wrong, be sure to change them. Nine. Now you need to install both append sets. Find them and extract if they are archived like mine in two separate folders. Be sure to create those folders for them. Not doing this can cause quite a mess. 10. There should be file copy application in each of created folders. That should copy files to your game and editor directories. However, it isn't always working, so I'll show you how it could be done manually. Now I am deleting everything unnecessary. Yes. And here we have two setup folders in each of Append set folders. In setup folder we see next two folders edit and main. Copy file called data from main folder in your game folder.
and data file from edit folder into your editor. Sound kinda strange in WTF, but I hope you will manage. Repeat exactly the same thing with the pen set to folder. Eleven. Launch artificial academy HF patch. Same to DLC HF patch. It should find path to a game and editor. If not, you know what to do with that big fat butt. There are some options to choose. Some of them might prove useful. Now, after HF patch has been installed, you have to change game's locale to play it. How to do this? App locale. You can download it from Microsoft site or any other place. After installation, you have to choose what application will be launched using it. But using App locale every time when you want to play the game is annoying. So you can create shortcut that will launch the game using App Locale automatically. After you create it, you go to Start menu, find it, and just drag or copy it wherever you want. HF App Locale App Locale with some adjustments made by people from Hongfire Forum to make your life even easier. With HF Applicale installed, you can just right-click the application you want to run and choose option Run with Japanese Locale. I personally use it. Both Applicales should work with any Windows version except for Windows 10. Locale Emulator After installing this software, you have to launch LeGui Le -E Application, change options as you want, and then use it the same way you use HF Applocale. Just right click, and here we are. The thing is that for now it is only Locale emulator which can be used for Windows 10, with most probability that it will work. Last way to do it is changing the system locale to Japanese. For Windows 7, go Control Panel. Region and Language, Administrative, and here we have language for non-unicode programs. Press Change System Locale and select Japanese. For other Windows versions users, just browse the internet. I'm pretty sure you'll easily find how to do this. This way may cause some issues with letters and some programs, so be careful, and if something like that happens, better change locale back to your initial one and try to find a solution in the internet. But I don't think this will happen commonly. 13. Now we will delete unnecessary Japanese launcher icons. These launchers I don't even use, but to know more about them, you always can visit Artificial Academy 2 wiki page. There are lots of information about everything in this game. And yes, point 13 and 3 quarters. Modding. For mods and modding programs, visit Hongfire Forum. There is a lot of stuff there. Basically, you need SB3 Utility or Illusion Wizard for AE2. Instructions for every mod installation is basically within the mod homepage and sometimes even within the archive that you will download. Don't forget to thank those who made these mods, of course. There is a torrent link in description, and there is pretty everything you'll need. Game, patches, and even big part of Hongfire modes. Though, I'll say it again. I recommend to download the latest version of Artificial Academy HF patch from Hongfire. Also, there are some links that you might find useful. I want to personally thank Yukami123, who made this guide real, providing me with very important information about compatibility with Windows 10, drawing my attention to some points I could have missed, 
and JDA for some useful links. Hope it will help people to enjoy this game. See ya!